All right, music class, we are going to be answering the music journal question today for Friday, November 20th, 2020, and we're looking at music journal 48. And this question says, in previous generations, students of music were cautioned not to play jazz if they hoped to become performers of classical music. Do you think performing jazz would affect one's performance of classical music? And explain. Okay, the only other things we have to do today is you need to listen to your cultural instruments today, which the two are going to be from South Asia. And the two we're looking at is going to be the sitar and the tabla. Okay, the sitar and the tabla are actually from India. So India is in South Asia. So the sitar and the tabla, you need to listen to those links. They'll go out into the week two assignment folder and go all the way to the bottom and find the two links and listen and watch the sitar and the tabla. Also, at the very end, we will have this assignment called The Rest is Up to You. And I will have that loaded up here and we'll do that together. And make sure you do submit that on Schoology for your grade and your assignment today. Thanks, music class, and have a great day. Hey, music class students, just the last thing is remember next week, Monday through Wednesday, we will be meeting at your class time for team meetings. Um, so uh, we can have those live. If you happen to miss that, just watch the videos. But if you can be there, I'll give some extra credit points as well. And we can go through the assignments and we can work well together there. So I'll see you uh, again next week, Monday through Wednesday. Remember, Thursday and Friday, we're off next week. See you guys, have a great day. All right, music class students, this is a musical notation worksheet. It's called The Rest Is Up To You. All right, at the top it says, the composer of this song left out some rest in the music. A question mark is found below the staff for each rest that is missing. Write the missing rest on the proper places of the staff. You may use any of the following to complete the song. So remember if it hangs below the fourth line, it's a whole rest, four counts. If it's above the third line, it's a half rest of two counts. If it is a lightning bolt kind of squiggle looking rest, it is a quarter rest of one count of rest. And then the last one is an eighth rest, it is the small ball that goes up and then comes down with a little stick in the middle. That's called an eighth rest and it's worth half of a count. So when you go through here in the question marks, you gotta see what beats are missing. So then you match up the rest with it, okay? All right, so like in number one, you have four quarter notes and then look at the second measure. We have two question marks. Well, if I used whole, whole rests, they wouldn't fit. If I used half rests, they wouldn't fit because you have to have four beats in there, okay? So, you have this on the first beat, we're missing this beat, and then this is on the third beat, and then we're missing this beat. So if you look at these both, we need two um, rests in there that would equal one count each, okay? Which one equals one count? Whole, half, quarter, or eighth? Yes, you're right, it is the quarter rest, because the quarter rest is worth one count each. So you will draw quarter rests in that measure, okay? Okay, and then the last one, look what it is. Same rhythm, just different pitches. So we need to have quarter rest again, one beat each, all right? So if we just put eighth notes in there, that would only be three, uh, three beats. If you had a quarter rest and an eighth, it would be uh, not enough, it would be three and a half beats, right? So we gotta make sure we have four total beats. All right, number two. Number two is actually gonna be four, four time as well. And so if you look at here, it's the same thing. It's just missing those quarter, it's the same rhythm. So right now we've used only quarter rest. Okay, so this measure here is going to be different. We have a half note, right? How much, how many beats is a half note worth? Okay, two counts. All right, so we have to equal four counts. So two plus what is four? Okay, two. So we need to make sure we draw a half rest in this measure. So we will make sure the half rest goes above that third line, and then we can do our best to draw a half rest on that third line there, especially with technology. All right, so 
The next measures are the same exact quarter rest that we had before. Same thing here. And all of these are the exact same, except for at the end. So the only two rests that we're going to even use in this exercise are right here. We don't even use the whole rest or the eighth rest. So you make sure that it goes here with the hat on top of the third line, having a half rest, and then you are done and you're complete. I will see you again on Monday.